afternoon, everybody. Uh, your girl did not have a good evening. Not that I did anything that made it bad or anything like that. It's just didn't have a good evening. So this morning I woke up with a heavy heart and I just when I have a heavy heart I'm somebody who can just write and express myself and say what I got to say and be done with it so I woke up this morning feeling some kind of way about we are gonna now call him the DNA I cannot use the word D-A-D-D-Y and I don't even want to give him the privilege of calling him a F-A-T-H-E-R. I don't even want to do that. So, we're going to refer to this person as the DNA. Because technically, that's all I got from him was DNA. So, this morning on Facebook, I made a decision that tell you I've been cleaning out my friends list and stuff and I just made the decision that I don't want to constantly be reminded by what could have should have would have I don't want to be reminded and I don't want to see certain things on my timeline so I continue to clear out my friend list a little bit more and um, I know I said last night that my siblings you know, I'm open to having relationships with them, and I am still. I am. However, it's not going to be on any of my part, and I think I'm going to be just pretty firm about that piece right there. I can reach. I can reach, and I am always an open book. However, I can't just keep chasing or hoping and keep keeping a, 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 a old wound open. So... I decided to close it this morning and if you want to develop or establish a relationship with me then moving forward you don't have to reach out to me because as of today I grieve those relationships and I'm going to just give it to God and that's why I'm going to leave it so with that being said this is what I posted this morning on Facebook good morning peeps I woke up with this on my heart this morning and I'm going to leave this right here people that don't know you it's funny how they think or assume they know you ever heard that saying three sides to every story well it's true your side my side and the truth people tend to believe a one-sided story without fact checking fact check this I no longer grieve something I never had I know my worth who I am and what my purpose in life is. It's sad, you'll never know me for yourself. You don't even know who I am. And once you realize my purpose, it'll be too late. I thought I was done with this, however clearly I'm not. I'll never know how it feels to be bragged on, uplifted, or loved by you. I often wonder why you don't love me and I've confirmed a truth that I always knew. I was wonderfully made through the eyes of my heavenly father, not my earthly one. I'll be 41 on September 7th, and all that I am has been revealed to me all at once. Don't claim me when you one day see me walk by, online, or TV. God has revealed to me in a dream what he has for me in the next chapter of my life. And it's beyond my wildest dreams. And he wants me to leave extra old and meaningless baggage behind. So it's not confused who this is for. I want you to know. Thank you for showing me what wrong looks like. For I would never know what true love feels like. Anonymous absent DNA. That was for you. My little sister just called me and she was just like, who done pissed you off this morning stuff? I told her, honestly, nobody's pissed me off. I was like, you know, I just felt like 
it was something that I really thought that was like done and finished and to just let a crack open up a little crack to just get confirmation of everything I've always felt is not my reality it just hurts and my husband this morning he just was like really trying to console me and I just I told him that I just guess it's a part of me that he'll never understand because he's always had both of his parents and I've always had one one I know that I can count on so my little sister she definitely shares how I feel with me because her father was never there either and when I say never like he never laid eyes on her until like I think maybe he saw her maybe on two or three occasions and now she is 23 years old pink butterfly left a comment on last night's video and I just want you to know that what you said just really It's the truth. Like I said in that post, but you know, I have to thank him for showing me what wrong looks like. Because maybe if he had been a part of my life, I would not be who I am today. I would be someone different. And I could be bitter about other things, you know? So I'm grateful for, I guess, him just planting the seed and not rearing me because my life could have changed in so many ways. I never felt like a princess. Never felt like daddy's girl. But I do know what it does feel like to be loved by a father. And I inherited a father through my husband. The day I married James. That's my papa. That's, that's my dad. As far as feeling like a princess, I married a man that makes me feel like a queen. And he loves me. He loves me so unconditionally. So, I'm off this right now. It's done. James, thank you for always being the father to our daughters that I always wanted because through them I've lived and I've learned to see what a father and daughter relationship is like from the time I carried them to right now and I thank him for that he will forever be the best gift that I could ever give my daughters that I can't purchase Sorry, y'all.